Ten elected officials and two school superintendents are speaking out about the proposed annexation plans, saying as it is, it does more harm than good. The negatives outweigh the positives. City Council President Russ Yell and Councilman Tom Didier say the 23 square mile plan includes too many rural areas, hurts schools, and lacks common sense. That's why they met with the mayor, asking him to scale down the plan and lessen the impact. And to date, we have not found a willing partner. The mayor has been very willing and open to discussions and open to hearing the council members' concerns. The proposal that was brought forward to us on Friday would not meet the statutory requirements for an annexation. At another press conference this morning, eight elected officials, ranging from a state senator to school board members, teamed up to stand against the annexation plan. None of us are opposed to annexation. We're opposed to this annexation. Uh, so if the stakeholders can come together and find a way where everyone can play along, uh, I think that that would be the best case scenario. They hit on the same issues, too many rural areas, a cut in services, and a big impact on education. East Allen County schools will lose about $325,000. Northwest Allen County schools stands to lose $2.5 million. It is such a hit that we will no longer be able to put gas in the buses or pay our bus drivers. And so, therefore, we will be required to cancel all bus transportation services except for those that are federally required under federal law for special education. City spokesperson John Perlick says they have laid out different options for the schools, including having a referendum. In the end, he says the original plans will go before city council. We've laid out the solutions to them. We all realize there's going to be hardships involved. Um, the hardships involved now can eventually lead to long-term growth and success for our entire city. In Northwest Allen County, Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.